just about set to go and towing the slab in this one Kenta Maeda and Chris he's a guy that gets better when things get tough yeah he's definitely had a struggle so far this year as evidenced by that inflated whip but he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners put his team in a position to win a ball game so we know he's prepared we know this guy is a competitor and we'll watch how he works in this one okay all set to go Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit first offering and it just misses Fastball for a strike. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The wide, the kick, and the 1-2. And there's a ball. Two strikes. That one misses. Three balls, two strikes. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, a great back and forth, and that at bat. He had to lay off some really Leading close pitches, and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Runner on the goal. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Right into the plate. And that one fouled off. Nobody out. Runner at first. Sit down on strikes. Strike three called and a slider at the knees. No, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. That no, one almost no. got him. Freddie Freeman delivered a master class in 2023. Freeman and Betts fed off of each other's success and it helped Freeman produce a 977 OPS, 29 home runs and more than 100 RBIs. That's a great season. Hey. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Hit hard, that gets through. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Everything came together for him. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. First and second, one out. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Good power, not great in the OBP department. Hey. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Swing and a miss. Oh, a two down. Oh, Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that pitch wasn't even close to being a strike, and that just goes to show you how defensive hitters can become when they're up against an 0-2 count. You're just hoping for a mistake somewhere near the zone that you can get the bat to, but right there, he was clearly anxious. He was swinging when the ball left the hand. And now, Andy Pajas. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. First and second, two down. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. That clips a corner. That's the third, McKinstry. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Oh, it's just such a tough play for a third baseman. Fielding on your backhand and then trying to get off such a long throw across the diamond with a quick enough release to get it there in time. 
really only the best at the position can pull that off. And I think that extra step to set his feet cost him a little bit right there. Miguel Vargas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Hard hit to third. Sends it across oh. to first. Out to escape a bases loaded jam unscathed. And the Dodgers leave him loaded. The Tigers coming up. No score. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back at Comerica Park. And today's starter, James Paxton. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Wenzel Perez, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. The pitch. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Drops into the glove. One up, one down. Let's take a check of the Tigers lineup. A really frustrating showing for them in their last game. Lots of traffic on the bases, but they left a ton of runners on base. Couldn't cash in their chances, Chris. They had plenty of chances. There's nobody to blame it on but themselves offensively. They just did a poor job converting in those situations. You have to figure out what's your plan going to be. Maybe watch some tape nope. from the last oh, game. Make the adjustment. So if you get those opportunities in this one, you've got a much better chance of scoring some runs. Paxton deals. And yeah, that's Thank downstairs you. and outside. One out, base is empty. Right through there for a strike. The why to kick the pitch. And down on strikes. Two gone now. Batting third. Here's Mark Canna. Mark Canna. That's in there. That's strike one. Two down, nobody on. Late with the swing there. Well, he looks to have some quality stuff on the hill today. Start this outing out. Pepper in the zone. Arm is loose and firing him in there. Next pitch misses. Yeah, the count one and two. O2 two fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Two out spaces empty. Gets a piece and stays alive. And a pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. Two outs. There's a swing and a drive. And it's into the gap. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's in there standing up with a two out double. He was all over that one. That pretty much split the zone down the middle and those are the ones where you gotta make them pay. Here's Riley Green. Just one. missed. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Oh, 
off the plate inside and it's 2 and 0. Oh. I think it's very important to establish the inside part of the plate early sets the tone for the rest of the game. That's inside and that's ball three Gio Urshela up next for the Tigers runner at second two down and he walked him on four pitches now this was a story we were paying attention to before the game we've seen him give up walks in the past and it's an issue once again early on here's Gio Urshela that one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. And, First and second, two down. Here's the 0-2. Just off the, off the inside edge. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. And the pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Oh, On the ground ball. to the left, down the line, and it's foul. Fouls it off, still one and two. Two on, two outs. Misses, and it's two and two. It's a good take. Wait and there. another ball. Zach McKinstry waiting to hit for Detroit. Here comes a pinch. And that'll Walker. load the bases. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Two walks in the first that has to be some cause for concern. I mean, you're talking about a guy you want to pitch deep into the ball game. It's not going to help with the pitch count right there. They can't afford to hand out free bases at this rate. And here is Zach McKinstry. Base is loaded, two down. Kick Sandios. Fouled off, he was late. Left hand hitter waits. That one missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Here's a 2-2. Here's a high fly ball out to center. On the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is the inning. So the Tigers leave them loaded. Scoreless after one. Back here in Detroit. Second inning set to go. Miguel Rojas at the play. Miguel Rojas. Maeda back to work. That pitch in for a strike. It's 0-1. Have a strike in there. All right, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. 
The 0 2. Battling here as he fouls it away. Next offering upstairs. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. That two one misses, balls, two and it's two and two. This one smacked out to left center. Makes a nice run of catch. And there's one away. Here's Kike Hernandez. Right through there for a strike. Well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. Patrick Johnson behind the plate. Patty Johnson to some book, but I'd ask permission first before I called him that. Does a pretty good job back there. Occasionally, we'll see a couple of sideways looks from players, but that kind of comes with the territory, right? Next offering is in for a strike. How much were you aware of the umpire scouting report or even who was going to be umpiring? Not a whole lot. I mean, there were a couple of umpires that weren't real good. But outside of that, you just kind of went into the game, especially back when I was playing. Great. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two gone. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Chris Taylor, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. No score here in the second. Bounce to the left side. McKinstry. And the Dodgers are set down in order. Dodgers go down quietly. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And we're back. Leading Bottom half of inning number Byers. two. Here's the, the shortstop shot. at the play. Oh, yeah. Javier Baez. Baez. The wind and the pitch. Javi Baez, like fellow Puerto Rican Francisco Lindor, born in Puerto Rico, but was drafted in the first round out of high school in Florida. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. This looks like extra bases, and that's going to roll to the wall. And that's a leadoff double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. At the play, Akil Badu. On the ground, right side. He steps on the bag. That's one out the bottom of the second. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. Digging in, Jake Rogers. Fly ball to the outfield for a sack fly. Soft ground ball to the right side. Find a hole. He can attack this a few ways, but the one thing he can't do is strike out. In there at the knees, and that is strike one. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Struck him out looking. 
Oh, that was such a great opportunity to grab the lead. You had the infield back. All you've got to do is just put the ball in play on the ground, and you drive across a run. It's a frustrating outcome for the hitter. Now, I'll still have a chance, but it's probably going to take a clutch hit with two outs. Now it's going to be Wenzel Perez. And that drops in for a strike. Two outs. In the dirt. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Just misses with that one. And there's the ball. Two two now. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. So they work around the leadoff double. We play two full. No score. Back at Comerica Park. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. Captain. Biggio measures Biggio. six feet two inches hitting leadoff in today's game and he's usually a first baseman but today hey. he's the designated hitter hey. right hander kicks deals. That's a ball. One ball, two strikes to count. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in. And he's out. Try for two. The batter now will be Will Smith. This is off the inside, and yeah, that's ball one. Some people say that first baseman kind of have the day off regularly because they don't run around a whole lot. But when you think about it, they are involved in just about every single play, and there's a lot of stress that gets put on their legs. So a well-deserved day at the DH spot for him. That yep, one that outside, and yeah, that's ball two. That it's one missing inside. Three. in there and it's three and one and Will Smith will take his base he's got a really good eye you talk about an offensive player controlling the strike zone Will Smith controls the strike zone runner on at first with one gone here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit First offering, runner goes. Found back our way, and that's out of play. Man, at first, one away. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Badu makes the catch. To Oscar Hernandez. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. That's off the mark, and it's one to no. Swings through that one for strike one. And a pitch. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Smith, around second, headed for third. Coming home. 
He will score, and the Dodgers have the lead. 1 0. And he's into third with a two out triple. Picks himself up in RBI. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. Two outs with a man at third. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Andy Pajes. And a curve misses outside, ball one. On, now fly ball to right center. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Run scoring triple here for the Dodgers. It's now 1-0. Back after this on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the bottom of the third. Now the number two hitter, Colt Keith. Paxton back to work. And that's, well, that's outside. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Next offering is in for a strike. Another ball. Wouldn't Three chase hit. that time. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. So the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. That one is absolutely belted. A dive, and he can't haul it in. Makes the turn at second, heads for third. Throw comes in, runner stopped, second and third, nobody out. Now oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. And now here is Riley Green. Golden opportunity right here. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. I got a ball, one strike. Check swing, no appeal, two and one. And that's too high. At the belt and fires. Base hit, one run is in. Runner stops at third, and they're at the corners with nobody out. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Gior Shella to the plate. 
Rolled softly, but that goes foul. What makes him special is a lot of pitchers lose movement in their stuff the deeper they go into a game, but he's just different. We see plenty of break in his pitches, even when he's running a little low in the tank. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. And that one fouled off. Tied up here in the early going. And here it comes. One ball. Two, in the dirt, blocked. And an excellent job keeping it right there. The one, two. That's ripped into the outfield. And a base hit. The run scores from third, and a 2 1 ball game now. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. So digging in, Zach McKinstry. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Out of the corner for a strike. 0 and 1. Well, these Tigers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They've worked three walks already, so that proves they're not anxious up there. They're sticking to their game plan, and it's working. Good nope. eye right there. Next offering in there for a strike. One and two. Two on, nobody out with two runs already in here in the last half of the third. That's a ball. In the dirt. To third. Tag. Got it. Well, you want to see guys aggressive out there on the base paths, but you also want to see them smart as well in making their decisions. And right there, you couldn't really tell how far away that ball was. So if that's the case, you got to shut it down. He gets caught stealing there, takes himself out of scoring position. Kicks and fires. Hit hard, base hit. Here comes Urshela around third. He's safe as he gets his hand in. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. One gone runner at first. Now it's Javier Baez. And that is in for a strike. Going one. If they did a poll of top tattoos in Major League Baseball, Javi Baez, I think, would have to be in the top five. Right on the back of his neck is the Major League Baseball logo. So it's effectively right under the MLB logo that's on his cap. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Still only one out here in the inning. The one shortstop ball. takes the ball. Three. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. James Paxton is done, and he's not going to be happy with himself. New pitcher on the mound in a moment. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound, Shohei Otani. On for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. Badu in the box now. No balls and a strike. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Lake Trinan looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. Swing. 
runs through it for the K. Had him way out front of the slur. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. On to inning number four. It's the Tigers three, and the Dodgers one. Back here in Detroit, here's the left fielder, Miguel Vargas. Miguel Vargas. The pitch. Just missed. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. You know, these Dodgers doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. And That's another ball. ball. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next yep. arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. And the righty deals. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. The pitch. Lifted in the air right field. Canna makes the grab on the run. And up next for Los Angeles, Miguel Rojas. Oh, for one so far. Swing and a miss, strike one. Generally, oh, second, one. third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice oh, job of it. Misses off the plate. Ball one. Ground ball right side and foul ball. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Here's Kike Hernandez. Just missed. Up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Gathers and throws to first. And that is the third out of the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Tigers three, and the Dodgers one. And we're back. John Chavi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Jake Rogers. Rogers. The pitch. Outside. One and oh. Next offering is foul back. Swing and a miss, and it's one, one and two. two oh, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that two barrel to. And that's down it away. and miss struck him out now one away the cutter right there had just enough movement on it to get the swing now and miss that's wasn't that's a great location by any means that's typically a spot that hitters can handle so I'd say he fooled him with just enough of that late action oh 
Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Taylor drifts towards it. Makes the catch for the out. Out number two. Now batting the second baseman. Colt. Colt Keith up now for the Tigers. He's 0 for 1. And that's in there at the knees. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. That one missed by one. a lot. One and one. Fastball for a strike. Swings and misses. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Offense held a check there. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Tigers three and the Dodgers one. New inning getting started. Chris Taylor down. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Next offering is in for a strike. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it surprised a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. And there's one down. The back number six, designated hitter, Kevin Back to the top of the lineup, Biggio. Kevin Biggio, the next to hit. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. 0-1 now. Swing it a foul straight back. Now oh, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. One down, base is empty. In one the ball. dirt, and it's two one right. and two. Ah. Got him. And there are two outs. And up to the plate yeah, is Will Smith. Smith. Will Smith. towards right center that's well struck green on the run can't catch up to it it's down in the gap and that's a double the first base is number five <laughs> Now the first baseman, Freddie Freeman, one for two. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0-1. Man on second, two down. Freeman hits it in the air. Canna sizing this one up. And that's the third out. One left for L.A., and it remains a 3-1 ball game. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Mark Canna. The pitch. All right, so you know I'm a dork. Shohei Otani go back to May 5th 2022 at Fenway Park he tossed a complete game through 99 pitches get this 
81 strikes. It was the most strikes thrown with less than 100 pitches in a game since they started tracking pitch counts. That's just unreal. Swing and a miss, 98 on the gun. He's been great in this one. Eye-hand coordination just failed him a little bit right there. Swings and misses, struck him out. Up next for the Tigers. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Riley Green. Green. And first offering is fouled off. And he deals. No. This is inside. And now it's even one and one. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Here's a 1-1. One, one. And a foul ball. Left hand batter waits. Two, two the count. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. Wouldn't chase that time. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him. And, you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Urshela at the plate and takes high there. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. One ball, one strike. The one two. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Kinstry stands in with two away as he takes a ball. And that clips the inside corner. That's oh, a real nice cutter right there. I mean, this guy can struggle with the inside pitch at times, so I'd say that's pretty effective if you can continue to command it on that side of the plate. And that's a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. A couple of singles back to back. Nice now job right. of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps oh, yeah. in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. The batter now, Javier Baez. pitch that yeah, one way one outside three. and one and one Otani he's kind of a prototypical bullpen arm in today's game electric stuff that results in a ton of strikeouts in a tough spot like this that is a big time benefit nope, this is inside two. and it's two and one now, as a hitter when a guy like this comes into the game you feel like he's standing on top of you and it's just attack mode hey. coming right at you expecting to get a swing and miss Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Right-handed reliever, just missing two. there. Three and two now. Akil Badu up next for the Tigers.
And a rope in the center field base hit. The run comes in to score from second. It's 4-1. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Akil Badu up now for the Tigers. And yeah, the first offering is not close. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. And yeah, that's outside. Two and oh. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. On the outside corner, and it's two and one now. High in the air, out to right. Pajes has this one sized up, and that is that. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 4-1. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Top six standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Teoscar Hernandez. The second baseman, Teoscar Hernandez. The wind of the pitch. Hernandez measures six feet two inches, 215 pounds, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. The 0 1. That one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The 0 2. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Next pitch is outside. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Well, that's the effect of the splitter that you're looking for on the mound. Really nice pitch right there and had him out in front over the top. I'm sure the batter was thinking he was getting something else, perhaps a fastball with a little more straight and velo to it. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Kenta Maeda out of the game, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. So the Tigers get a new arm from the pen. Alex Fiedo. Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. And now the right fielder, Andy Pajes. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Hey. Axe and misses. It's a strikeout. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out now of the back. zone, and he just Let's couldn't hold it. up the swing. Miguel. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and... There's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Ouch. Well, the bright side is that that will help the on-base percentage a little bit, and that's a category no batter can ignore these days. OBP, OPS, well, maybe that'll ease the pain just a little bit. 
Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. There's a ball. Safe at second with a stolen base. You know, nights like this, when it seems harder to score, I like the call to put him in motion and try to steal the base. Ball's not carrying, no home runs so far, so trying to manufacture some offense like this may be the way to go. And the 1 0. -oh. Slider misses outside. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. And the right hander deals. That one finds the zone, and it's two and one. And there's a foul ball. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Lifted in the air down the left side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. Nicely done from the Tigers' bullpen there. 9-1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. Tigers 4 and the Dodgers 1. Back down for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Johan Ramirez. And he's been really shutting down hitters from the right side of the plate this year. Not a lot of hard contact, not a lot of hits, period. Here's the catcher, Jake Rogers, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And the pitch. That ball misses one, the no zone. Strike. Ball one. Well, these Tigers, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. Eight of their hits came off the bat at 90 miles per hour or Do harder. It. These guys are not getting fooled right now. Righty delivers. And strike one to the catcher. Two one. And a pitch. Three. One away, bottom of the sixth. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an now individual bad. performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very My comfortable ball. up there. Just one of those Ball days. Bad. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. And that one fouled off. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Alex Vesia getting ready to go. Trying it. A hard throwing right hander up as well. The 0 2. Clobber to right field, way back. Gone. He made him pay for that one. It's his sixth home run of the season. It's 5-1. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. No matter how this outing ends, that pitch is going to haunt him for a while. An 0-2 mistake. That's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone. He left it in the spot that the hitter could do some damage with, and that's exactly what he did. Colt Heath up now for the Tigers. A strikeout and a walk. Strike one. All one's the count. Righty to the plate. Ball, that's outside. One out, base is empty, and a run in here in the bottom of the sixth. Bounced up the middle. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Now batting, right fielder, Mark. Yeah, 
Mark Canna up now for the Tigers. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Right-hander kicks deals. One Pitch misses there, and the count is one and one. And here it comes. That misses. Two and two. And a pitch. Three. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And there's two down. Now batting. Center and at first, Riley Green up now for the Tigers. Green. And a good eye there. Is late there, strike one. One ball, one strike. And he takes a strike. One ball, two strikes. And a pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Kicks and fires. Just ball, off dude. the outside part of the plate. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees. And doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Two outs. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. A dive, he's got it. Throws from his knees. Nicely done for the out. Making it look easy at the keystone position. Definitely worth another look. He'll get some high fives when he gets into the dugout. Top of inning number seven, and the batter will be the shortstop, Kike Hernandez. Fiedo back to work. There's the strike. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. And the leadoff man aboard. The third baseman, number three. Here comes Chris Taylor. Taylor. Here we go, Taylor. Hey. Fastball for a strike. Going one. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully, the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. One and one. Oh, right to the backstop. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. Definitely trying to work down and get that double play ball, but it got away enough to erase any chance of that. Good job of moving up in the scoring position. Now a hit could make that wild pitch really sting. No outs. Runner on second. Strike on the inside corner.
kicks and deals. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely okay. and just bunched him up on good. the inside part of the Captain. plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Canna makes the catch. And there's two down. Now batting, catcher Will Smith. And here's the catcher, Will Smith. Just missed. Runner at second, two down. Here, the top half of inning number seven. And yeah, that's a little bit high. And now two and zero. Oh. Just missed. Freddie Freeman up next for the Dodgers. And ball four to a board. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. And next for L.A., Freddie Freeman, one for three. Siggy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. That one misses. That's five straight. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. There's the swing and a miss. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. Foul ball still a one and two count. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Pulled the string of the changeup. Well, needed a big strikeout to get out of danger. Turned to the deception of that changeup. Great execution. Really sold it with the arm speed. Had his opponent way out on that front foot. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Blake Trinan. Coming on to face a righty now, here, and he's been fantastic dog. against him this Number year. 49. His numbers in those matchups Blake. are very good. Trinan. Gio Urshela steps in. For the Tigers, the first baseman, Gio Urshela. Here comes a pitch. Hits the corner. Strike one. And ball one. One and one. And the righty deals. Good one. eye in that spot. Two balls, one strike. That three one balls, misses, one and that's ball three. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Ball Inside four. ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. Well, a game hard. plan that he's sticking the to. He's just not game. going outside of what he's looking for up there. So a man aboard, Zach McKinstry will hit next. This is again five in a row. Hammered on a line in a left base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. 
allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Javi Baez digs in right side. That pitch in for a strike. And it's 0-1. And he deals. I got a ball, one strike. And downstairs. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Swings through that one. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to. Takes it in for the out. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Now the left fielder, Akil Badu, 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. There's the strike, 95 of that one. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. Two on, one out. That's one inside. Two strikes. Now this is in the air down the line. Vargas makes the play. Runner tagging from first. The catcher, number 34. Jake Rogers. Jake Rogers getting ready to hit. 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. Big swing and a miss. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. All one there. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Drifts towards it. And the inning is over. Tigers strand a pair. They lead this one, though, 5 1. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Shelby Miller. Now and he's got a nice lead Tigers. to work with, so he should Number come seven. in throwing strikes, attacking Shelby. these hitters. Miller. Here's the second baseman, Teoscar Hernandez. The, baseman. the Dodgers Teoscar in striking Hernandez. distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the late off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Swings and misses. And it's 0-2. Activity in the bullpen. Andrew Chafin, the southpaw, is throwing and getting that sinker dialed in. Brisky, a right-hander, loosening up as well. And the 0-2. On the ground to third. Zips it across. First out in the top of the eighth. The right fielder, number 44, Andy, Andy Pajas, now at the plate. Called the strike. One one. And there's a ball. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. 
Base is empty one away and we're in the top of the eighth. Another one two. Got it by him for the K. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. And first offering is fouled off. Just nope, missed. Ball. Next ball offering two. misses two and one. We got two balls, one strike. Good ball. eye right Back there. At the belt and fires. That hey. one finds the zone and the counts full. Right hander gives up the two out walk. Well, two out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into that dugout. But he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. Miguel Rojas digs in now. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. Right hander kicks deals. And that's in the dirt. That one at 95 missed up top. Three and one. Two outs. Right through there for a strike. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Miller throws the first. Vargas gets back easily. Three balls, two strikes the count. Right through there. Got it. That ends the frame. So the Dodgers leave one. They're down 5-1. Of the eighth. Now it's the DH. Wenzel Perez. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Yeah, and that skips in the dirt. Rips one to right. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Safe at second with a leadoff double. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his bat through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. So a man aboard. And up next for Detroit, Colt Heath. That Whoa. one almost got him. Next offering is in for a strike. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. Stretches out and hauls it in. Runner tags it second, and he's in safely at third with one out. The right fielder, number 21, Mark Canna. Now it's the right fielder, Mark Cannon. 
This is all about situational hitting. It's crucial in this spot. Do whatever it takes to put the ball in play, and hopefully you find a gap in the defense. There's a strike. All one's the count. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. And a run comes in to score. He puts a great swing on that pitch and drives home the run, and that was always going to be a double, but the bounce over the wall just took the guesswork out of it right away. It was a nice swing. One out, runner at second. Riley Green up now for the Tigers. On the inside corner for a strike. Next one offering one. misses down and away. One and one. And well, that's two. downstairs and outside. Cool. And that's, that's off inside. the inside edge. Three and one now. Runner at second here, one gone. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. He can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Payoff pitch. Fights it off. He'll see another. And it's second. Hard ground ball base now. Around third. He'll score, and it's now a six-run lead. It's a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And next up for the Tigers, Gio Urshela. Foul ball. Aye. Swing and a miss. Oh, and two. Oh, two is the count. One ball, two strikes. Squirts away a little bit, and the runner holds. And the right-hander deals. And that just misses. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Line drive to short and caught. Yikes, that ball was scorched. An absolute missile. And it almost becomes self-defense as the fielder. When one of those things comes screaming towards you, watch your lips. Man at first, Zach McKinstry up now for the Tigers. Just missed. The pitch. And a foul ball. Next pitch is outside, and that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. The pitch. And yeah, they'll do it again. Left-hand batter waits. On the ground, right side. He oh. takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. They get two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left.
Ninth inning coming up. It's the Tigers seven and the Dodgers one. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Will Vest. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him. So he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Enrique Hernandez. Enrique Hernandez. And a pitch. On the ground, Baez. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. Number three, Chris Taylor. He's two outs away. Now, Chris Taylor. Best, a six foot righty. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a sinker. Righty delivers. That one finds the zone. One ball, That's strike one. Strike. one. Right through there for a strike. One down, base is empty. Fouls it off, still one and two. The pitch. That misses the zone. It's two and two. The Dodgers with a lot of ground to make up here at the top of the ninth. Fly ball down the line. Canna makes the ground, and there's two away. So last chance for the Dodgers. Next is the designated hitter, Kevin Biggio. First pitch misses. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. The Dodgers down to their final strike. Got it. That finishes the evening's action. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year, to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by this team to get it done for the hometown fans. And a 7-1 finish in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chambi saying so long.